Wine is Georgia's most famed export. Produced in these lands for over 8,000 years, with vineyards as far as the eye can see, this is the country's premier wine region, Kakheti. And the monks of Alaverdi Monastery have produced wine here for over a thousand years. The good Alaverdi experience starts walking through the gate. So you see all this grand figure of the monastery in front of you, and if you are lucky, you can meet the monk. Daria Kolodilina is a wine expert who runs guided trips through Georgia's wine country. As Alaverdi Monastery's fame has spread, the number of tourists Daria brings here has grown. Monks started making wine here in the 6th century. It was critical to have your own wine for religious service and everyday needs. They were among the first to ferment wine in these giant clay pots called kavevri, which are unique to Georgian winemaking. This is basically one of the oldest kvevris in the world. Usually it's put under the ground. For centuries, the monks of Alaverdi Monastery honed their winemaking craft, perfecting their blends. These days, locals are now employed to produce their wine, leaving the monks more time to focus on their spiritual pursuits. Our priority is praying, and the second is winemaking. We are now in the younger cellar of Alaverdi, which was established in 1011. Behind me there are quevris, and all of them are full with wine. The color of Georgian wine is actually amber, because the white grapes take the color from the skins. The monastery's amber wine is Bishop David's pride and joy. The 2013 vintage was awarded silver at the Decanter World Wine Awards, a prestigious international accolade. In Georgia we say, the eye drinks, the eye eats. However, the taste has the final word, this is a good wine. For the monks of Alaverdi Monastery, it's not just about creating award-winning wine. For the country and for the nation, it is necessary as the parents of these traditions to preserve and maintain them.